Guardian calls for the blood of Malash. Now is the hour of my ascendance. Let Rakshir commence! And the rite of Rakshir has begun. From this moment, only Alarak and Malash are allowed to engage each other in combat directly. One must overpower the other and reach the Pit of Sacrifice. There, the victor will stand as the new leader of the Talgari, and the loser's life will be forfeit. They appear quite evenly matched. This is true. However, from what I have learned, Rakshir allows the champion's supplicants to support them psionically. Our warriors will be able to aid Alarim. But likewise, the Talgarim can assist Malash. I will ready our forces. Malash will fight ruthlessly to hold on to his power. We must be prepared to do the same. The Talgarim will send warriors to aid Malash shortly. We should ensure Alarak has sufficient reinforcements. Malash is drawing power from the Taldarim. Alarak will need the support of our warriors. Shall be as you say. Yes, your psionic power courses through me. Move forward, slaves. Kill all who aid Malash! You would do well to remember that I command these warriors, Alarak, not you. Hyrock, I don't understand how this is possible, but my scanners are detecting high solarite concentrations in the native beasts here. We ought to pursue them. However, I think it's best if we don't inform Alarak of this little diversion. Understood, Hyrock. The Taldarim attack force is inbound on our nexus point. Brothers, attack the firstborn directly. Higher, I am sensing hybrid. They come to aid Malash. Amon's Harbingers, join our struggle! Fight well, warriors, and you will also ascend into Hybrid! Oh, you lie with such conviction. It is almost admirable. has been slain. Unseen. Locking on to the beast's coordinates. Warping it aboard. Our pylon is under attack. Very wise. scans indicate that the solarite deposits are a byproduct of the beast's unusual digestive system. Are you saying that they're... Wait. Never mind. I do not wish to know. A hybrid behemoth. Be wary, Artanis. My vengeance will not be delayed. Send me your warriors.
Devils, Mirage. Soon everyone will know the depth of your treachery. Hierarch, hybrid with great power, are on their way to Malash. My master has already won, Alarak. You lead a fate to their doom. You are right about one thing, Malash. I will lead them. I am your High Lord. Listen and obey. Malash promised you lies. There is no ascension. The Taldarim will never be uplifted and become hybrid. Amon betrayed us, and for this, he must die. have yielded to my authority and the Death Fleet is now under my command. I will use them both to avenge Amon's betrayal. Do your people believe in this cause, as you do? What they believe is of little consequence. What matters is that they obey. You choose to rule differently than I, Alarak. Despite this, we may not only end the violence between our kind, but forge a powerful alliance. Can we now? My people are vastly different than yours, Hierarch. We both desire vengeance, and we are both Protoss. Is that not enough? Oh, very well. Submit to my absolute authority, and we may indeed unite our forces. Do not test me, Taldarim. Avon is a mighty foe. Your people cannot hope to stand alone against him. You will side with me, and together we will send him back to the Abyss. <laughs> so you do understand my culture after all. Let us say that for now, we have struck another bargain. Do not think what has happened here will spare Alarak from my watchful eye. I did not expect it to. If he dares to betray us, or takes any action against you, I promise his blood will coat these corridors. Good. That is what I am counting on. Rohana! I can see it, Artanis. The truth Amon wishes to hide. While his brethren, the Zelnaga, slumbered through the millennia, Amon and his followers descended upon Ayr. And he uplifted our people. They ruled over us as teachers. As gods. He changed us. Manipulated our essence. But we grew beyond his control. He and his followers fled to Zerus to create the Zerg. The hybrid by the culmination of his efforts. False Zelnaga. Created in his image. They... We must... Rohana. This is too dangerous. You cannot go on like this. I must, Hierarch. It is my duty to know the truth. To bear it. I know now. This is my purpose. Artanis, you should know my fear of the Taldarim is not of them now. But what becomes of them if Amon is defeated? You fear they will never integrate with our society? They share our blood, but they are not like us. You know in your heart that may never change. It is true. A great battle may loom on the horizon ahead of us, but it's a risk we must take. It is a great risk. The dawn of a unified Protoss requires much. Like the threads of a cloth, we must come together and be stronger because of it. To think what we become with their culture influencing us. Changing us. Yes. We will be changed. And perhaps that is what you fear more than battle. 
The path ahead is uncharted, Matriarch. Have the Taldarim accepted the truth of Amon's betrayal? Some have. Others dare not question my commands. None wish to declare Rakshir upon you. Let them. No one can stand in the way of my vengeance. This grows tiring. We have done what we came to do. Set course for ire. And let us bring this war to Amon. Do not dare give me orders, Alarak. We will return to Ire only when I believe the time is right. Let's hope that time comes soon.